I don't really know what I want to do with this. I was just like, maybe I can make a video of decorating my room. rental place that I have ever stayed in that has let me paint the walls and I was so happy about that. If you know me you probably know that my favourite colour is yellow because so many things that I own are yellow which is great because it works really nicely with this blue. This is a scratch off map of Europe that I got as a Christmas present and you can see all the places I've been, you can see all the places I have not been, you can see all the places I may never go. Whoa. I don't know. You don't know either. And then I have a Doctor Who poster. I got it at a poster sale in my student union when I was at uni, so that is it was an old poster, but blue and yellow, it works. This is my desk. As you can see, it is pretty plant heavy right now. I'm hoping to get some shelves or something to put them on because they were not happy on the windowsill. It was too hot and they were just wilting all the time. So they need to be somewhere not in direct sunlight, but also they're taking up all my desk space. This is the completed Billy bookcase. I think he's beautiful. It's my favorite piece of furniture that I own possibly because, oh my God, look at it. It's so yellow. Uh, I put all my books on it when I moved in and I had the, just the two top shelves still completely empty and available for me to just display all of my like art of books and graphic novels and I like switch the graphic novels around sometimes so I can look at different covers. This is my gallery wall. Please do not pay any attention to the wonky frame at the top. I've been meaning to fix it but at the time I just put so many nails in this wall already I just couldn't bring myself to put another one in. These are prints from two of my favourite artists, I'll link them below. This is a canvas that I got from Disneyland in 2014. This is a drawing that my mum got for my nan and it hung in her house when I was growing up. This was a frame that RJ got me when I moved in and he's supposed to put a photo in it but it had this example picture of a leaf inside and I just... I like the leaf, guys. This was a painting that somebody did for me as a Secret Santa present. I was in a job that I did not like and I just got back from a trip and I was just so miserable to be back in work. I was like so bummed out that day. And then this woman who I had not even had any shifts with, I don't think, just sort of materialized and was like, hey, I was your secret Santa, here is a present. And I looked at it and it's me in the TARDIS. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, so thank you, Kara. This is my pin board. I'll give you a game. I only bought five of these pins. Can you guess which five? This is another scratch off poster that I got as a Christmas present. Same person. Thank you, Kim. There's actually a couple that I've read since I last went into this frame and scratched them off, but I roughly read like a quarter of the ones on the list. So, I mean, not bad. This bedside table I painted with my mum when I was a child. So as you can see, my favorite color has always been yellow. Um, the red stripes actually nail varnish, I'm pretty sure. Some nice gray yellow bedding cushion situation again. None of this was bought as like a set, I just, everything I own is yellow. And then I have this rug. I really like this rug, but in this room it is a nightmare because there is nowhere to put it where it is not disrupted by some kind of piece of furniture. So at the moment the bed is on it and every time the bed is in use it 
nudges the rug slightly and you get this like lump. And sometimes it'll bunch up so much in the night that I will trip over it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> One day rug, you'll be somewhere where nothing will bother you but feet. So yes, that is my room. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Changing Rooms DIY SO Alice. That is what this was, I suppose. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a voiceover before. Now it's just occurred to me that I have to do an outro. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>